Do you want to share your faith more effectively, but don't know how? You are not alone. Many church members struggle to connect with people they don't know. Others are reluctant to speak about spiritual topics in case they're viewed as Bible bashers. But research from McCrindle, an Australian-based research company, shows that the top influence in people's spiritual journeys are friends, neighbours and colleagues. How can our friends, neighbours and colleagues learn about God if we never talk about him? The good news is that sharing books are a simple and tangible gift that can be used to share Jesus in a non-threatening way. Not all of us are called to become pastors, but everyone can be a friend and give the gift of hope of a hope-filled book. I've been in literature ministry for more than 20 years. I started as a literature evangelist in 2001. At first, I wasn't sure if it was for me. I was homeschooled on an isolated farm and didn't have any social connections. I knew how to talk to sheep and cows, but that was it. Through God's grace, I was able to develop the skills I needed to connect with people and reach their hearts. For many years, I was one of the highest sales lich evangelists in the South Pacific Division, distributing a pallet of $10,000 worth of books into the community each month. In 2009, I began leadership at the Western Australian Conference and today serve at Adventist Media as a coordinator for Australia and New Zealand. I often say to people, if I can do literature ministry, anyone can. In Ministry of Healing, Ellen White tells us that Christ's method alone will give us true success in reaching people. Jesus empathised with people, ministered to their needs, and then won their confidence. And in Luke 4, we find it was Jesus' joy to heal the brokenhearted and set the captives free. Today's world is less personal than the one I grew up in, with rising rates of isolation and increase in mental health issues. People are screen fatigued, lonely and eager for meaningful connections. They don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. In this video, I'll focus on two important skills that can help you share Jesus simply with anyone. One, how to effectively connect with people from any worldview or cultural background. Two, how to effectively share literature. Some people enjoy sharing Jesus through letterboxing, tracks and flyers. But this has much more impact if you give the materials to someone in person. Whether you share in person or online, remember that nobody likes being spammed. However, they're always open to receiving gifts from a friend or someone who shows a personal interest in them. So how do we connect with someone we don't know? Imagine that every person is an island. There's water separating us. That water might include different cultural backgrounds, life experiences or worldviews. How do we get from one island to another? We need to build a bridge. We do this by showing authentic interest in people, learning the art of listening and asking meaningful questions. Questions help us understand people's needs and make sure we're sharing resources that are relevant. I once heard Pastor Terry Johnson share an illustration that I've found useful in my ministry. Picture a house with a family on top waving with a nameplate in their hands and a plane flying over top and a light bulb above it. These symbols remind us to ask, what is your name? It's hard to become friends with someone if you're not on a first name basis. Where do you live? And tell me about your family. And the plane reminds us to ask where they have traveled. The light bulb is an opportunity to ask them what they think about any topic. You don't need to ask all these questions at once, but at least ask the first three. Once you've learned more about them, you'll know what type of book they might be interested in. Choosing the right book is important. 
Health is a good place to start. People often have health issues and are interested in learning more about health and wellness. Some useful resources in this area include A Taste of Food as Medicine, which is a plant-based cookbook with recipes and some health tips. And Live More Happy, which contains scientifically proven ways to improve your mood and life. But never assume that you know what people will want. Ask them what they enjoy reading. If they're interested in romance, they might be interested in The Desire of Ages, the greatest love story ever told. For people who are into history, politics or current events, you could offer a great controversy. Inspirational stories are usually good for everyone. So how can we be confident in sharing to other worldviews? Avoid the churchy talk and try to contextualise and use language that people will ad identify with. Secular Australians are not interested in religion but often open to exploring spiritual things in their own time, if they're not being preached to. Meanwhile, if you're speaking to someone from a different faith background, remember to be respectful of their beliefs and start with what you have in common. Be patient as we journey with people, recognising that everyone's ind individual spiritual journey is different and it can take time. The second point I want to address today is how to share literature. A recent survey told us that 77% of church members are interested in learning how to share literature for effective outreach. So how can we share literature? Pray for an opportunity to share. Be ready to share at any time. Carry tracks in your pocket or handbag. Use the Sharing Hope app on your phone and keep a small bag of topical sharing books in your car. Be ready for the divine appointments that God will provide. Link from everyday conversations to current events or your testimony. Share how this book helped you. Invite a person over for dinner and give them a sharing book as a gift at the end of the evening. Spending time with people and sharing a meal together can build trust and friendship. You might like to catch up with someone with whom you haven't seen for some time in a mutual location, such as a cafe. Another option could be to invite a neighbour or a friend over to watch an inspirational video together. You could watch an episode of the Chosen TV series and give them a sharing book aligned with a theme, such as Step Beyond. Include a book sharing table at churches, seminars, health expos, cooking programs, or even school events. Visit your community and share a special gift pack or sharing book. Participate in door knocking and visiting your neighbours. While tracks can be letterboxed, the gift of a book gives you a reason to visit and connect with people in your neighbourhood. If your church has outreach plans to door knock their local community, here are some helpful points. So how can you build your confidence? Read the book. We can only effectively share what we know and are passionate about. Starting with a health book is a good way to introduce spiritual books to people. Learn a short script. See our website for some examples. And if you're nervous, take three deep breaths and breathe out slowly. Whistle or hum a tune. If you don't want to do this alone, do it together and join a church outreach for support. Remember to smile. People mirror your outlook. Don't just be friendly, but be a friend. Be authentic and be yourself. People have no time for fakes. Use questions to learn more about their needs and interests. Learn to ask the right questions for the culture, gender or age group. For example, a man might enjoy talking about sport, a woman about her family and a student about what they're studying. Courtesy and compliments are really important. Never argue. Try to agree where you can. If you can't agree, say, that's interesting and let the book do the talking. Focus on serving their needs. 
and use appropriate humour wherever possible. A question mark reminds us of a shepherd's crook. We can draw people in through asking them questions. For example, this one was quick. He beat you to the door. How old is he? If they have a nice dog, what breed of dog is that? Or if they have a beautiful garden, only use it if it's true. Wow, that's a beautiful garden. Who is the green thumb in the family? Or on the other hand, an exclamation mark looks like a baseball bat. Making too many statements might make people feel they've been hit over the head. What would you wear to spend time with a friend? You probably wouldn't hang out in suits and ties. Try to avoid being confused as the typical religious callers who Bible bash by avoiding their dress style. Dress smart casual, pray in private, and walk with purpose. Make sure you're aware of personal safety. If there is a high gate, rattle it and wait. There may be a dog asleep behind the house. Look for signs of large dogs. Only enter if you're sure if it's safe to do so. If you don't feel safe, leave a tract in the letterbox and move on. If you're surprised by a dog, put a bag or a book between you and the dog and back out slowly. If you're a woman, never enter a home on your own unless there is another woman present. Respect letterbox and door stickers, such as no junk mail and no religious calls. We may not consider our resources junk, but we're there to build relationships which are built on respect. Don't knock more than three times. Leave with a smile and a kind word. Keep your records. Mark up your map with the streets you've visited Follow up and continue your friendships on a regular basis and pray for the, your territory and the people in it. Revisit each street every six months with a new sharing book. I hope this has helped you understand how you can share your faith more effectively and connect with people in your community. What is stopping you from sharing Jesus today? Visit the website on your screen to learn how you can become part of the sharing movement.